Hello my friends, so I'm Rillis here. I'm going to be playing a demo of a game called Dreams of Maya. This was available during the Steam Puzzle Fest, um, which depending on when I upload this and when you watch this, um, may still be ongoing. It ends on May 1st, uh, 2023 on 10 a.m. Pacific time. So you might have the chance to try this out yourself. I will say um, when I opened this demo, it like had to set up a couple things, which was kind of odd. Usually you just have to download the game. Um, but there were some configuration settings that had to occur. And additionally, this game crashed, I think, like two times <laughs> uh, previously when I was um, trying to start the recording. So there might be other um, items of instability coming up. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, there's a lot of things here in the settings that might improve the performance. I haven't tried playing around with it. Obviously, like, you know, having everything on epic and high is going to put more strain on your computer. But these were just the default settings um, that I had when the game launched. I don't know what the difference is going to make on performance if you change from window to borderless to full screen. But um, the option is there and you can also cap the max uh, frames per second. So anyway, I don't really know. Um, how this is going to go <laughs> in my crash again, um, but there are settings available here that potentially could or could not help with things. Um, additionally, oh, you can have multiple windows open at one time. There is language that you can choose. There's quite a variety here. And then, um, a, yeah, there's a legal statement here for a whole bunch of different items here. But uh, let's go ahead and try and get started. The memories of your last 85 years have mostly faded away, but fragments of your past memories visit you in your dreams. This is a story about you, Maya Sapolsky, and your dreams. You are woken up by strange noises. You notice your dad's old Polaroid camera sitting on your table, but you have not seen this camera for years. Something strange is going on. You decide to get up and investigate. Ooh. So yeah, what really drew me to this game is kind of like this dreamy atmosphere that it has and the really strong color combinations that it makes. This looks like it's the starting screen that we just saw. Um, and not to spoil it, but it seems like the key mechanic for this game is essentially like traditional puzzle piece puzzling, um, but of course with a little bit of a twist. So kind of like a... Um, like a board game, shall we say? Very pretty game. Um, oh, yep. Something lit up in the forest. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing something right now, if it's just a cinematic. <laughs> I'm gonna assume it's a cinematic. Oh, it's a meow! A little cat. Oh, their window is just a slice in their wall, huh? Luna! Haha, <laughs> I'm a cat, at last! The text is very small. Am I dreaming? Luna, is that you? Are you, Maya Sapolsky, dreaming of Luna? Or is Luna dreaming of you, Maya Sapolsky? Haha! <laughs> am I Maya? You seem confused. Allow me to explain. I am a spirit who visit those who I find intriguing. Why do I intrigue you? You intrigue me because you think yourself not very intriguing, and this is why you are the most deserving of my gift. What is my gift? A wish! You are very welcome, Maya Sapolsky. A wish? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Any wish, but no tricks. What do you seek, Maya? What is it that you want the most in this world? I wish to get my memories back. Ooh, is this like a dementia story? Oh, you poor child, you have forgotten a lot, haven't you? Don't to worry, this wish is yours. But first, I must make sure I have the correct Maya Sapolsky. Do you remember your father, Lucas Sapolsky? So something odd that I saw in the text is like it, when the line first appears, it's like more spaced and then like it shifts itself so that there's less space. So I personally find that kind of distracting. I wish like the spacing would just stay consistent so that my eyes don't like have to jump um, while I'm reading the line or reading the next line. That's my personal feedback though. Vaguely, only some of the dreams I had of him. Your mother, Sangeetha Menon. I know the name, but I don't even dream of her. Oh dear, it looks like your memories have faded too much. I suppose that there are other ways to grant you this wish. I suppose memories fade from the mind, but dreams linger in the soul. But this will be harder. Hmm, maybe I should just pos possess you. No, I won't possess you. I like this cat. It suits me. Hmm. 
Tell me, do you like puzzles? Not really. <laughs> then it is foretold. You will puzzle. And instead of your memories, I'll grant you fragments of your dreams that you can piece together. Yes, yes, yes. You are very welcome. Thank you, but I really don't like puzzles. <laughs> Silence. You will puzzle. And if you do it well, I might even help you along the way. And if you stick to it, I have many dreams that I can offer you. Okay, I'll puzzle. Uncover the dreams of Maya. Thank you for playing Dreams of Maya. I'm a solo dev, so if you experience any issues or need help, please reach out to me on Steam and I'll do my best to help you. This game is dedicated to my gram, Hema. Hema? Hema. Oh, oh I have to hold it down. Ooh, the doorway. Use WASD or scroll wheel to zoom in and out of the puzzle. Okay, yes, so you can see that this is kind of what it's like. Use the right click button and drag the mouse to move across the table. Okay, yep. Oop. Hover over a piece and use left click to pick up. Um, okay, sorry, I'm just like getting used to the drag. I think I'm used to um, like the sensation of like pretending you're grabbing a piece of the table and moving it. This is actually moving in the direction that you pull. So like right now I'm pulling to the bottom right. So it's going to the bottom right, but like somewhat intuitively, I thought that it's like I'm pulling the table down bottom right. So I expected myself to um, like go to the top left, if that makes any sense. I don't really know why I have that um, feeling. It might be, I wonder if it's like something that um, Apple or Mac does in terms of controls, but that might be an option I would suggest if it's possible to um, have, be able to change the controls so that it's like opposite of when you pull. So like when, when you pull towards like up of the screen, um, instead of going up to the screen, you would go down. It's, it's kind of weird. I can't really explain why um, I, I, I'm thinking of that as a default option. But anyway, you can kind of see here, Sorry, you're probably just going to see me like constantly <laughs> go the wrong direction. Maybe I'll just use WASD. Nope, that zooms in and out. Um, you can see that each one of these, instead of having like the knobs and ridges that you would expect in like a board game puzzle, it's um, they're all squares, uh, but each piece um, is very similar to what you would do for a puzzle piece. So let's just start from, I don't know. While holding the piece, you can rotate a piece by <laughs> using the scroll wheel. So this little item that I have here, I am scrolling. Um, hold space to see a preview of the dream you are going to assemble. Use one, two, three keys to get help from Luna. Place a piece directly on the board to reveal a fragment of your dream. Okay, that's weird. It like makes you confirm that you want to place it and then it also like punishes you <laughs> for putting it in the wrong spot. So we are in the doorway. This looks like, oh, can I move this? Okay, this is, I guess it's good, but it's a little odd. So it's more of a toggle click than a holding down a click. So I don't have my hand on the mouse right now and I'm able to move this piece around freely um, and it is snapping to a grid. Um, so yeah, it's like you click and then it puts it in a state of like being held in your hand and you can, you don't have to hold your mouse all the time. That's, I guess that's kind of good. I was like a little concerned that I was going to have to do that and do the scroll wheel, scroll wheel rotate at the same time, which is a little weird behavior because I use my pointer finger both for the left click and for the scroll wheel. Um, I think, yeah, I don't really use my middle finger. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I use my middle finger on the, on, uh, right click so I don't normally have it on the scroll wheel. Anyway, um, it like punishes you for, for putting it in the wrong place but it does look like this is um, fire and it looks like you can freely hold down or just have the, the dream up for as long as you want. I was not holding space the whole time either. Actually, I was holding space when I wanted to see the dream. Connect piece. Well done, you have connected your first dream fragments. When you connect all your dream fragments, you'll reveal a Polaroid photo of your dream and Luna will offer you more of your meaningful dream to piece together. Oh, yep, holding down for control. Ooh, that's very bright. A dream you had when you were six years old. A dream we had when we were six. A lot of fire and chaos, that seems a little concerning. All right, well, let's, uh, we started with the fire. So let's keep going with the fire. Um, it's, 
kind of is that a good spot it's kind of interesting that it's um how do i say this what am i trying to express what is interesting to me is this i feel like these are our all like incorrect. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's upside down. Like I feel like all these could fit, but <laughs> it's obviously wrong. Um, dream you had you were six. I mean, it could be one of these other fires. I don't know what thought I had um, before this, so never mind. If if I have it again. I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, okay, so let's put this one back for now. I don't really know where to go for that one. Um, we'll maybe rotate this because it has a dark little area on this. I assume you want to use all the pieces. Oh, right here. Perfect. Oh, yep. I forgot what you get from Luna. Maybe you get like, I don't know, it wouldn't be a hint, right? Because it's L1, L1, and L1. Aspect, possibilities, and truth. I don't really know why it's called. Oh, I'll show you where to put it. Why don't I play? Why don't I just play instead? How about I give you a hint about where this piece could go? Yes. Um, I'll rotate that piece for you. Not like I have anything important to do. Okay. So. They give you hints, but it's uh, in like a limited sort of fashion. We'll put it there. I guess like if you place a puzzle piece wrong, um, you get punished for it. Which I guess that's kind of interesting, but since you can hold the space just to like exactly match somewhere, I guess, I don't know, maybe it makes sense. Um, But yeah, we're just we're doing all the fire right now. Um, <laughs> it's kind of weird. Like uh, I have to kind of move my piece away to make sure that it actually fits what's below it and doesn't just seem to fit based off of its neighbors. And then like when it actually fits, it like starts to disappear, which is a little weird. And I don't actually know where my piece is. Uh, I thought this was fire, but it might just be like some other grass somewhere. I'll come back to this one. Um, I think this all might just be grass. Go. I mean, I'll, I'll click Luna when I get my bar fill. Like, I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to do, but I'll do it. Um, carefully drag down. <laughs> goes over here but because you get punished for putting things in the wrong spot I like kind of don't want to put it down this is interesting it looks like it's oh, what if it's upside down I was gonna say it looks like it matches exactly that little horizontal dash um, wow there really are so many pieces here huh dream fragments rotate pickup okay I do appreciate the reminders of the controls Um, this has like a little bit of an eye in the middle, like an eyeball. <laughs> so let's look for a bright area with a little bit of an eye in there. There we go. Um, kind of a dark.
dark, dark red. Is this a spot? Ah, uh, yes. The piece has disappeared, so <laughs> it's gone. What is this? I'm going to click this. Three piece. Portraits. You'll collect special pieces as you play the puzzle. Use these pieces to build portraits of your family and friends. Lucas, Sangeeta, and Luna. Okay, I just, <laughs> I thought there'd be more to it. I thought it was going to be like a puzzle in a puzzle, but I just like clicked it and the pieces appeared. So, I don't know. Uh, we'll do this one. It's kind of an interesting shape to it. so it's um so the control choice of making you hold down space to see the dream is a little bit weird because i feel like you can't really glean where something is supposed to go just based off of like other pieces you put down plus you get punished if you put them in the wrong space so it's a little bit tiring um in my opinion to have to hold down space the entire time um I kind of want to like <laughs> oh I can't put my phone on it this was um this was something I did like <laughs> when uh sorry if you heard that um when overwatch still used to have loot boxes I know I don't really post much overwatch on this channel I'm gonna come back to this piece because I don't really know where this is supposed to go um but yeah like <laughs> Back when Overwatch 1 used to have loot boxes, um, if you got kind of lazy and you let them accumulate, um, it was pretty tiring to like open all of them, like if you end up having like 50 or whatever. So a trick I saw is all you have to do is put like your phone or a book on top of the space bar. Uh, and it would just let you do that. Oh, I don't know what it said about Luna. It went by too quickly. Luna grows powerful, though. Oh, it's because I was holding space, unfortunately. <laughs> My trick came back to bite me. I'll have to look back on the recording to see what it said. Um, Luna grows powerful, level 2. Combo unlocked. Tell you what, place pieces correctly in a row, and I'll maybe reduce the cooldowns a little bit. Okay, we'll unlock it. Maybe it's like the cooldowns of these. Um, all right, well, we're going to continue putting my phone back on the space bar. Oh, is it not letting me? Do I have to... What happened? Okay, I was like, is it angry that I had space down for too long? Um, it kind of reminds me of... Um, I mean, it doesn't remind me, but like I thought of sticky keys. I still don't know who benefits oh not there who benefits from combos ah no i had the space held down okay well i'm just not gonna read any of the informational power-ups or anything because <laughs> like for me it's not worth like having to well there's, there's stuff here it's not worth for me um having to hold down space <laughs> the entire time that's not an experience i enjoy so we're just gonna do this um combo I don't know why oh it's counting how many combos I've gotten um, but yeah I never I've never figured out who benefits from like the do you want to turn sticky keys off because I feel like that only ever comes up on inopportune times when you're gaming so I've turned that off <laughs> obviously um, it's a little brighter than this I feel like all of these like could fit in wherever they are. I guess it's like the the clone tool in Photoshop. I'm like, oh yeah, that looks fine. And then I look at what's actually under there. I'm like, oh yep, <laughs> incorrect. Um, hmm. Like trying to look ahead of time to see where things might fit. Huh. 
I am assuming that the demo is going to let you finish this one puzzle and then probably that's it just because it's already taking me so long. Maybe I'm supposed to use these cooldowns from uh, Luna. That would make things faster, I guess. It wouldn't take as long to do these. I mean, we might as well try it. I'll rotate that piece for you now like I have anything important to do. I'm just gonna click it. Oh. Hmm. Clicking did nothing. Am I supposed to drag a piece onto there? Let's do this one. Oh, sorry. I forgot that I just have to click it once. Um, hmm. So it looks like it's clicking. But I don't know if anything happened. Also, my mouse is like covering the piece, so I can't I can't tell that it actually did anything. Also, I'm holding space and the dream is not coming up, so that's like a little <laughs> unfortunate. Oh. Can I view the dream, please? <laughs> okay. It's kind of weird. Um, as soon as I clicked one of those, it wouldn't let me hold space and again. So I'm assuming it rotated it the correct direction for me. Um, I like unrotated it by accident, but then I rotated it back. So, <laughs> um, not exactly finding. I mean, it's a fire area, right? Like it's not fire or grass, wheat. I don't really see like a triangle that I want to place this in. A little triangle dark spot. Maybe here? Nope. Uh, I mean, so I guess I use the hint, but I also, uh, um, in the brief flash of the instructions I saw, like, it sounds like there's a cooldown, but I can't tell if the gems have been used. Click. Clicking doesn't, I don't know how to use these. <laughs> Clicking doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know how to use these. Do I click Luna? No. Um, can I see if there's maybe a hint in controls? How am I supposed to use this? Okay. Um, well, I can't look at the recording unless I end the recording, and I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, oh. This is gratitude as credits. Um, I don't want to look at that yet. Oh, the music's just going now, though. Oh no, is the music on? Okay. Well, <laughs> I don't know where the piece I had was. Yeah, I can't... Oh, there's a random piece here. Um, I can't click and drag these gems. And... Uh, like, clicking them with the piece in hand doesn't seem to do anything, so... <laughs> I don't, I don't really, I don't understand. <laughs> I'm sure it would help if I hadn't just like sped past all of the um, statements. Okay, you know what? I am I am making the executive decision. I'm going to end my recording for now so I can go back <laughs> and see what the text actually said. Um, but I'll cut in the video so that you don't see that break. So I will be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. The screen that flashed by that I didn't read I mean, I guess I'll put it on the screen so you can read it too. Um, if you didn't just pause the video when I did it the first time around, it was basically just saying that like when you level up Luna, you can get power ups and it was essentially not helpful. But one thing I did notice while I was reading that is um, oopsie doopsie, the <laughs> controls are literally right here where you press one, two, and three to do those things. So I mean, we'll try pressing one, two, and three. Uh, so that's why I couldn't click or drag any of these gems or put things on top of each other. Um, so let's just try that. So let's do oh, this one and then let's press one. Wow, if you look at that, <laughs> it worked. And you can see that the cooldown has started on the gem um, starting from the top, but I'm assuming it goes in a circle. So this is the correct orientation for this. It looks like it's a little sidebar. Oh yeah, it's like right on the doorframe there. So we got a combo. 
Um, let's try possibilities. This one's uh, a hint on where it goes. Let's press two on the board. Oh, that's. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's helpful. Oh wow, they go away so quickly. All right, well the hint's gone. <laughs> I think that one is not very useful for me. Um, it does have like a little leaf. Ah, there we go. And then truth is, I'll show you where to put it. Why don't I just play instead? This one, I assume, probably has the longest cooldown, but uh, we'll see. So we'll do this one. We'll press three. All right, it goes right here. And you just have to rotate it. There you go. Another combo. Um, yeah, I don't know if the cooldown times for these are any different. The third one seems like the most helpful if you're really stuck on a piece. Um, but yeah, let's uh, keep slowly going. I guess this like light green has to do with the door. Is this is a part of the head. Oh, uh, there we go. I was like, it's not part of the door frame. The door frame is too purple and too dark. I guess we've moved over from the grass to the door. <laughs> the door is easier, so um, I'll take it. So we got some little sketchies. There we go. Um, we'll do more of that. Oops, I keep pulling the wrong way. We'll do more of that light, light green. I assume, okay. So I do like that you can kind of place these here on the side like you would when doing any sort of normal puzzle. Normally what I would do is I put kind of the um, same colored pieces all together. And then I also usually do the corners, but in this case, there's no corners, they're all corners. <laughs> so I guess I'll just grab all of these that are kind of light gray um, as my door options. Go back to portraits. Okay. <laughs> um, a couple more over here. All right, this should be a good number, just so I don't have to keep like scrolling up and down um, to see everything. Uh, this looks like it could be a neon door frame. Also, this. this. Definitely this. Okay, that's it. That's <laughs> Those are plenty of pieces. Oop, I, again, I keep scrolling the wrong way for whatever reason. So we've got this little bit, which I think it's... Oh, I thought it was... Oh yeah, it is the chair. I was like, maybe it's the chair instead. Um, oh yeah, we've got two doors here, so they might not even go into the same one. Nice. There we go. Ah, oh, that was a wrong piece. My combo is over. Did it... Okay, I was like, does it have to go back where I first put it? No, it just um, stayed where it was. It's kind of interesting that the um, door is very bright. I guess, I guess it does, the colors change. The other ones seem like they go darker when you place them in the correct spot. That's kind of different behavior there. Um, well, let's continue. <laughs> now I'm like, is this actually the right place? No, that was the wrong place. 
Apparently that was correct though. Um, keep going. Okay, that was correct. Okay, I'm going back to putting my phone on the spacebar. <laughs> Just like my hands getting tired, just putting it there. Um, keep going. This looks like it's part of the door jam. Well, door jam. Door jam means like the stuff on the side, right? So I said the wrong thing, but I meant the crack in the door. My my door terminology is not up to date. This looks like it could be that top part, but it's not. There is a dark area there. Is it part of the hand? Nope. <laughs> Again, I feel like this could go here, but it doesn't. Uh, so you have to be very careful. Oh, is it part of the... Oh yeah, it's the foot. Oop. Sometimes it goes into the correct spot and I lose it, and I'm like, where did my piece go? It's completely gone. <laughs> I would really like to do this corner. It might, this might be the, oh, is it part of this? Let's see, it feels like it could be part of that other door, which it was. Um, put that there. Very gray. Oh, I don't know when my cooldowns came back, but they're back now. Wow, this one's kind of tough. I'm gonna just put the truth on this one. Number three. Right there? Okay. Now I have to get it facing the correct direction. I'm assuming the light is going towards in the corner maybe? Okay. <laughs> I was getting worried about the orientation of that one. Uh, this one's a little green. There we go. This has some complicated pieces in it. I thought it might go there, but maybe it's on the other. Hmm. It's got a lot of purple and green. It's, yeah, it's not this way. Oh, is this a hand? Yeah. Like it looks like another arm, potentially. Has anyone noticed what like the combo number does? I've not been looking at that. Well, that was almost correct, but like it could be a hand, but it's not a hand. Uh, possibilities. Here we go. Well, we got more portrait pieces that you just click to place, I suppose. Sangeeta and Luna are not available in this demo, so it's probably just Lucas. Okay. Um, I would suggest maybe putting like an underline or a circle or otherwise like changing the color to make it clear which portrait individual is active. Um, oh, I have to unhold space and then hold space again, I think. Oh, click and then space. Okay. <laughs> to uh, get the stream back on. Let's 
Frankly, I do not know how it would be possible to do this puzzle without having the space constantly depressed. <laughs> this is probably the other door. A little bit distracting is the title of the piece overlaying um, where you're trying to place things. It makes things a little harder in terms of determining where the right spot is for that. I'm gonna freely use these hints. <laughs> oh, the truth is over here. All right, totally different spot than I was looking. But I guess there could be gray things over there too. Um, oh yeah, this looks like it's... Here we go. I was like, where did my piece go? It's gone. Um, looks like it goes over there. There's the top edge of light on that gray. Nice. This is all gray, so maybe it goes over here. Nice. Um, while visually it's very pretty, whenever it puts the right stuff everywhere, it does make it distracting <laughs> when I'm trying to put the next item down. I feel like it should go here, but it definitely doesn't, so... <laughs> nope. Yeah, I was like, it looks correct, but it's wrong. <laughs> Possibilities. Oh, there's so many spots for this. And it fades so quickly. Okay, well... I do not know where it goes. I'll put this back. There's still a couple items I need to complete this doorway. This looks like a hamburger. Where is there a neon hamburger? <laughs> Sideways hamburger. This is purple with green. It's got kind of a gaseous look to it. Purple corner. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Whenever the, the piece disappears is when it's the correct spot. <laughs> mm, okay, so I need a couple more to finish the door frame. This could maybe be it. Maybe this. probably a different piece or go on to a different area but you know I'll try it let's see looking for those neon hard edges kind of the gold neon which is probably not part of the door but like kind of cool regardless kind of see these related pieces that look like they might be part of a table So these bright pieces might have to do more with the second door, but we 
can try. Piece disappeared, so it was the correct spot. <laughs> this one here has quite a bit of purple. But it does definitely look like ah, it's not purple, it's the uh, outside here. It's kind of weirdly meat strand like reminiscent <laughs> background that's kind of red or maroony. Um, I would love to finish the the door there. But I don't know if I have the correct pieces laid out. Yeah this is too small. Bright red spot. Okay. Piece disappeared. There it goes. is very bright. I would really like to finish the door, like right down there. But I don't know if I've identified where that piece is. to identify it. So we'll just keep going. Oh, this is probably the chair over here. I was like looking for a triangle spot. There we go. Is the music changing? Now that more of it is full or is this just like a natural progression of the music? shirt. Yeah. Oh, that was kind of a little bit of a strange loop. This is part of this. Oh, no, right there. Yeah, there's something a little strange in the music loop, like right before there. It's like the new undertone that just got added. <laughs> a little bit odd. Is powerful level two rotation two locked in demo now you now get two rotations <laughs> okay so we got a we got a level up but didn't get it anything <laughs> a little bit of a relief the uh, music has reset so it's not as loud anymore all right we're holding space again with my phone once more <laughs> um I'm like really curious where this piece goes. It like really reminds me of like a like a leg. <laughs> like this is the the thigh, this is the knee, and then this is the calf. <laughs> It'll be funny to see what it actually matches to. The uh, edges are hard enough that it makes me feel like it's part of the door, but I don't know. Ooh, this looks a little bit warped. It might be the side of the door. Nice. I don't know if all the music was supposed to go away. <laughs> it was starting to get a little too loud. 
Um, and it was like that, that latest melody that overlaid on there was like a little bit distracting because it didn't seem to loop quite perfectly. Um, but now it seems a little bit quiet with only the crickets here. Oh, we have some wind now. <laughs> All right, we are looking for kind of a little pear watermelony shape. <laughs> mm. There is a bubble up to the top, but the background is not light enough for this. Yeah, it's interesting because it's a gray. Oh, is it his head? Yeah. Oop, didn't want to zoom in. Click, please. Right here. <laughs> oh, the demo's over. Thank you for playing the demo. Sadly, this is the end of the demo. I really hope you enjoyed this week game. If you would like to get Maya's dream when it's released, you can wish list. There's a typo here on Steam below. If you have questions or would like to stream the full version before release, please contact me here. All right. So perhaps it only lets you place um, a certain number of pieces down before it ends the demo. We'll click continue. Oh, is, is it just like not going to let me put the last one down? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. This has been Samarillis playing um, the demo of Dreams of Maya. There's a couple of UX um, items here that I feel could be improved, um, but they're also pretty quick improvements, so nothing too stressful. But yeah, the main ones would be, I don't know if there's a reason to not have the dream up all the time, just because for me, it feels very difficult to actually match pieces in the direct places that they're supposed to be, because you do get punished with combo breaks. I mean, like, I don't really know what these combos do. Maybe it just, um, makes the stuff reload faster. Oh, it's kind of weird. It doubles these. So would they bind to more like keys, like one, two, three, four, five, six, then? Um, maybe maybe reconsider how um, cooldowns, like if you have two gems, how the cooldowns would look. Maybe just put two gems next to each other or, or something else. I'm, I'm not a UX designer, so don't, don't take my word for it. But just the experience of seeing all these is a little bit odd um, but i think they already knew that they mentioned that like um using the times two was not available in the demo anyway um but yeah uh perhaps just making it easier to have um viewing the dream in the background on all the time just because there's basically no time that you would not want to have it on and it is tiring to like hold down a key the entire time like you would <laughs> probably um go the alternate route like i do of just like putting something <laughs> to uh, hold down that space all the time. The other thing I would mention is like, this is kind of a fun idea, but it also seems a little odd that the only thing you're doing is just clicking this piece um, just to like have the items that you gather just like go directly on there. I think I was expecting this to also be a, like a puzzle experience in and of itself, or I don't know, you could change it up a little bit, but just like the act of I collected items, but then I basically have to put no effort into creating the portrait is a little odd. I would also suggest putting some sort of indicator showing you which portrait you are currently on, um, whether it's Lucas, Sangeeta, or Luna. And then what else? Oh yeah, the text um, floating directly above the image is a little bit odd just because it makes it harder to match pieces directly that are behind this text. Um, What else? I know like it was literally listed right here, but I don't know why my brain just like didn't understand how to use these gems. Uh, so perhaps another consideration or more experimentation in how you can use these gems could be good. Ooh, seeing the caption highlights. Um, I do feel like the text is a little bit small, both in the beginning cinematic portion, as well as here with the highlights. I don't mind that Luna's sassy. I think it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, like the descriptors for what each one of these do um, is a little bit small to read on the resolution that I'm playing on, which is 1920 by 1080. It might look fine on other resolutions. It might just be something that I'm doing that's a little weird. Um, 
I don't know if you can do anything about this, but like the game stability overall, just because um, it crashed several times before I tried to record this. And I mean, like, I don't know. I feel like my computer, my computer is not like top of the line, but it can play pretty much anything I want without any trouble. So I don't really know what's happening there. Um, oh, and then the other thing is like, maybe just add in a, a control option if you don't want to swap it entirely, but just a control option so that like if someone wants to, when they're moving their mouse down to the bottom right, if they want the camera to go to the top left instead because it feels like they're dragging the table down instead of just like matching it with the direction that it's going. Um, ooh, there's some other stuff here that I didn't really look at. <laughs> other stuff on the table. Um, I, I don't remember what it's called in like um, shooter games, but it's like when you invert, is it just like inverting the Y and X axis? Maybe that's just the option that they usually use. Um, but yeah, I don't know why to me that it's more intuitive that like when I drag one direction, I expect the camera to go a different direction. It's just like in my muscle memory for whatever reason. Um, let's see. I think those may be my main feedback items. Um, oh, the other thing is like when you put a piece down, the effects are very pretty when it glows all bright, but it also is like kind of interferes <laughs> with your ability to put the next piece down just because like the colors get kind of distorted when that shining effect is on. But anyway, those are all my, my feedback items as someone who's played this game. Um, you can feel free to listen to me or not. It's probably more helpful to ask others how they think um, some other of these items, like if they're actually bothersome or not. And then make your decision from there. Obviously, don't just listen to me. Uh, but overall, I mean, I know I said so many negative. Oh, sorry. I just thought of one more thing. I was about to start going into the things I really liked about this this game. Um, I think there's something weird about how the looping was done for like when the music was really starting to swell before I kind of got to like the, oh, you, Luna's level 30, or not level 30, level three, um, and you can't progress any further in the demo. There was something weird about the the looping of like that final track that was overlaid on top of everything else it just seemed like it was a it started like a little bit late like a little bit off on the loop point and it was just kind of like it really um stood out to me but anyway on to the good things um i think the aesthetics are really beautiful the glowing effects are really beautiful i'm interested in the overall pieces that are going to be done i'm interested in the overall narrative that's in here um, I think it's very fun. As I said, that Luna is mischievous and it seems like you're making a deal with the devil as like an 85 year old person. And um, I've had family members who've had dementia. So I'm always interested in kind of exploring more of the narrative behind those because um, my grandparents who had dementia were people that I, I wasn't very close to, but obviously can be very devastating experience and it was very young I was very young when this happened when my my grandparents passed away and when my grandparents were um, deeper in like that kind of dementia illness um, and they live very far away so I you know that's part of the reason why I never really got to know them didn't get very close to them but um, I always kind of wondered the the impact that it had on my on my parents um, because obviously it's their parents. Um, so yeah, just exploring the narrative of mental health and illness and just simply aging and encroaching death uh, is something that I'm very interested in, in looking forward to. Um, I, I don't think I ever pressed any of these other buttons. So let's click portraits. Oh, portraits just goes to this, which also happens if you click that puzzle piece. L goes back to Luna level three, a feline that resembles a friend from your youth and may hold within her the pieces of your past. Powers, Luna's, oh, there's a typo here. There should be apostrophe. Luna's powers grow with each memory piece you reveal. Okay, so it tells you what these are, um, what you can look forward to. It's kind of interesting. Um, all right. We'll, go, we'll be supposed to say we're done. And then library, let's press tab, hold tab. Oh, okay, just press tab, you don't have to hold. Look at that texture on Luna. Your dreams, to know we dream, to know this is a dream, to know to change the dream, to know we are the dream. Okay, this is just level selection. Um, 
let's see. Oh yeah, the, the toggle versus hold mechanic is a little bit weird, but I could probably get used to that fine. I don't know if you really need to change any of that. But anyway, those are all my thoughts and opinions on uh, on this game, Dreams of Maya. If this is a game that you're interested in, please definitely wishlist it on Steam. It is available there. I did look up if it was released or not. It does, uh, does look like it has not been released yet. It just has like 2023 as the year um, as the release date. So I mean, potentially later this year, um, we'll see it. We'll see it go live. So thank you for watching. This has been Somerless playing the demo of Dreams of Maya. And once again, if you are watching this before May 1st, 2023 on 10 a.m. Pacific time, you can still try out a whole bunch of different demos um, in the Steam Puzzle Fest as well. Hope you have a good day. And remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.